plurals by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can create a sort of binary code pattern design. Now, first thing to do, and I'm just going to use a guide. So, just going to quickly go to a View, New Guide Layout, and I'm not going to go for 10. Obviously, I could do this, make it very complex binary design, but I'm not. Otherwise, it'd take forever to do the video. So, I'm just going to select 4x4. And then you can see if you, of course, you could go for 20 by 20 to make a much more complex design. But what you can do, you can just quickly type. And the guides are seen just so you can see where you can put the one and zeros. So just going to type one. Now you can use any font. I'm just going to go with the standard one there. And then just going to drag those across. And that doesn't have to be perfect, of course. But you can just quickly just drag that down. You can see what you can do. You can line them up using the guides. Put them generally in the center. Just drag. This is Alt Option to uh, duplicate. You can also use, of course, duplicate layer. That's another one. So Alt and Option, depending on the PC or Mac. And just create that. Create that. Now you see it's not very binary code at the moment. I'm just going for ones, obviously. Don't want to keep changing as I actually just drag it across. So next thing to do, of course, you're going to put some zeros in. So then. You can do zeros. Now another thing you could do if you wanted to, and that would be to create the one initially as a smart code. So you can create the structure, then turn them into smart codes, and then you can just change, obviously all the ones can be turned anyway. You can see the idea, you can just change them. If you decide that you want zeros there or ones there, you can just change them very quickly. I'm going to go for zero there, and over there zero, and over there zero, and maybe an over there zero. Not particularly very random, but I think that's fairly random. There's more, obviously, uh, let's go for one there as well. There's probably more ones there than zeros, maybe about equal now. Now, once you've actually done that, what you can then do, if you don't want the background, I'm just gonna quickly go to window, got layers, I'm just, oh, there it is, layers, just couldn't see it. And what you can do, you can remove the background. You could, of course, just apply maybe a fill to the background, so you can maybe add sort of green, blue, whatever background. But you can also clear it, so just remove that. So delete background, yes, and then you've got that design there. What you can do then do, just go to select all and define pattern. You can see the binary code design there. Click OK. Now you could, of course, at the same time, define the brush as well. So you could create a brush stroke as well as the pattern design. Now, once you've done that, and I'm just gonna go back to the start because I don't want all that. I can go to a layer and new fill layer pattern. Of course you can use, because I've gone for the transparency, you can also use it very nicely with the edit menu fill command and you can use it maybe create uh, random designs as well. Button fill okay, so you can see the design there. Now go for 25, so you can see design there, or five, or seven. But the reason why I said, suggested that you use maybe a 20 by 20 if you want to make a more complex design, because obviously you've got, you can see the patterns repeat quite a number of times there. So obviously zero, zero, whatever. So click okay, and that's it, quick binary code pattern the ones and zeros across the page. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.